The sky is littered with stars. We know around most of them are planets, some of them capable of supporting life, possibly intelligent life, maybe even a world like our own. Astronomers in the US have been scanning the skies for radio signals from advanced civilizations for nearly a hundred years. Now there's a new, more ambitious plan involving Professor Stephen Hawking. Speaking at a news conference at the Royal Society in London, he said that it was now time to begin seriously searching for signs of life on other worlds. Pick a star. Somewhere in the cosmos, perhaps, intelligent life may be watching these lights of ours, aware of what they mean. Or do our lights wander a lifeless cosmos? Unseen beacons, announcing that here, on one rock, the universe discovered its existence. There is no bigger question. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. Those behind the initiative claim it will be the biggest scientific search ever undertaken for signs of intelligent life beyond the Earth. They plan to cover ten times more sky than previous programmes and scan five times more of the radio spectrum, 100 times faster. For decades, humanity has speculated about the prospect of making contact with alien civilizations. Would they invade or would they become our friends? And if we did get a signal from another world, what should we do? Uh, if I'm not alone, then the interesting question will be, do we communicate, do we answer? And uh, we don't want to engage ourselves in answering that question. We believe that this is really a subject of a big debate to be had. Many scientists believe that there's only a small chance of receiving a signal from aliens from outer space. But if we do, we'll know that humanity is not alone in the universe. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.